All right, guys, so I'm hanging out with Alex Leica with Leica Lawn Landscape. What's going on, guys? Uh, you, most of you guys know Alex. You're how old are you now? 20? 20, yeah. All right, so huge Instagram, really good dude. And he lives about 20 minutes south of me over in uh, Livonia, kind of like Northville, Michigan. And uh, dude, you're just like a young hustler, man, making it happen. Yeah. Uh, we're actually in a shop right now. Quick little pan. All right, that's all, pretty much all you guys can handle. No, I'm just kidding. But uh, <laughs> this guy's got it going on. Really cool dude. We actually met um, about a year ago, almost this time, talking about light bars. So uh, he doesn't live too far from me, but we're gonna talk to you guys about the stainless versus the steel dump insert. A lot of you guys wanted to see the different options. I don't really know too many videos out there that have both in the same video and we can kind of weigh in like pros and cons. Mm -hmm. uh, mine's a six foot, yours is an eight foot. Uh, I always say it's not the size, but how you use it. No, I'm just <laughs> so, all right, let's do a little walk around. Let's show everybody what we got going on. This is your truck right here. Yep. Uh, what year? 2005 F250, 5.4 right. V8 gas. Nice, okay. Handles it just fine. Just fine? And you have the eight foot stainless steel. Yep. All right, so do a little walk around. What do you got? What have you put in here? What have you liked? What have you not liked? Cool, um, uh, as soon as I put this in here, uh, about a week before, I had two leaf springs in the back. Okay. Um, Leaf level spring. the front of the truck so it still looks low, but yeah, we added more uh, leaf springs that way we could hold more weight, more capacity, okay, and all that good stuff, which is why we added the sides, okay, you know, <clears> two <throat> by 12s. So you have two by 12s, double stack carriage bolts, put the two by fours on the side. A lot of people want to see this kind of stuff. Now, <clears throat> again, I haven't done that just yet to my rig. Uh, Dumper Dog said don't put the two uh, walls high, uh, two boards high because they'll not warranty and uh, uh, the pump and the motor and all that stuff. But honestly, so far, mine's been handling like yep. a champ. Because you said you put some pretty heavy oh, material yeah. in here. We put five to six yards of stump grindings in here from a, a tree job where we cut down four pine trees. And uh, that was mainly dirt and, you know, the heavier stuff. So that sure. dumped it no problem with these. So. Yeah, this is pretty pretty cool setup. Um, and yours is the eight foot, yep. right? Stainless steel. Yep. So you, uh, originally the, the dump insert just comes with the actual dump that you can see. The uh, brackets for the sidewalls, the cap. Ignore that hole. <laughs> yeah, ignore the hole. Drilling through stainless is tough. Possible, and now I know <laughs> how to get through stainless. So there you go. that was back in my <laughs> days of not having a shop. Well, we're, we're all learning, right? Yeah. Uh, and then you get the cab guard option, obviously, as well. Yep. And then the tarp. Uh, so those are all options, just so people know. Um, and it's all people, extra. People want to know price point wise. This is, uh, it, it all depends on your dealers. It all depends where you go. Mine was a little under four grand. Uh, with all this setup, it is probably 4,500 bucks brand this new. 4,200 bucks. 4,200 bucks. Yep. There you go. So tarp my kit, side extensions. Okay. Um, uh, chains, my, tarp kit. Mine was a little like under 3,500 with all the options and all the upgrades. Uh, so it really just depends what your dealer sells them for, specials, all that kind of stuff. I always want to know pricing. I'm sure you guys appreciate that stuff. So it sounds expensive, but not really when you consider the cost of a dump truck or a dump trailer. But we'll get into that in a minute because I want to talk about how we both have uh, a fully contained or unitized system now to do lawn care landscaping and take our whole rig down the road and including landscape material like mulch, rock, uh, and being able to dump leaf cleanup and um, or leaf and plant material. So let's do that. We'll keep helping you guys out here. And by the way, if you guys have questions, leave them down below. I'll try to answer them the best I can. So. This is the steel dump insert. Pretty similar, pretty much the exact same setup. Um, I just like the black setup to go with my truck and my color scheme. It wasn't really too much more of a thought into that. Plus it was about seven, eight hundred dollars cheaper uh, once it was all said and done. Um, <clears throat> you wanna talk about mounting yours? Cause you installed yours. Yep. I had uh, buyers actually Pretty much when mine. I bought it, they slid it on my truck bed and said, here you go. So I had a ratchet strap to get it home. Right. And uh, I mean, when it's in the bed, you can kind of, you know, shake it around to get it where you need it. But uh, sure. One thing that uh, I have to do eventually is, and even buyer said this, is that these little, uh, what do you call these mounts? Just the little brackets uh, here. Bushings, yeah. I mean, yeah, where the dump uh, sits down on, these can kind of go just like a little rubber they'll one. They'll wear right out. They'll wear out? Yeah. Okay. So, so pretty them. much Hockey after pucks. about, I don't know, six months, <laughs> um, the little bushings that were there compressed and then I started having issues where the cab guard was rubbing on the truck. So I was like, oh, you, know, you know what? Makes sense. Yep, probably should fix that. So I went with the hockey pucks. I'm a hockey player coming from a hockey background. Um, coming from a hockey state. Yep, so Detroit uh, Red Wings. you know. But right now we're, uh, we're doing so hot. <laughs> yeah. They were good once upon a time, right? Yep. <clears throat> so 
All right, cool, cool. And then uh, here, I'll show you guys the dump insert over here for this a little bit different setup. Uh, similarly, we use the fifth wheel mounts uh, for the brackets. Actually, I have to install this other bracket here. This We didn't have the uh, socket. And then we did drill holes over here in the back, but it didn't go through the aluminum or anything. We did it right here and right there. Now, don't ask what this wire is for or rear backup cam. Another video for another time, because uh, as you guys know, I like my rear backup cam, especially for plowing snow. So we did uh, actually install an aftermarket rear backup cam, but I took it off just for this video. We'll include it in the next video, more to come. Uh, so that's pretty sweet, man. So let me ask you this, with talking about material that you put in here, mm -hmm. you said you've put rock, stone, mulch. How many yards do you think you can fit in here? That's, that's probably the big how question. How many yards like, or what is safe? Because I mean, how many yards of mulch? I've done six yards of mulch all day long. No kid. Before, yeah, you just, I had a little two foot piece right here. Sure and no big deal stack it up yep all right so other other plant material like shrubs and leaves obviously right here you yep. can compact this so stuff down we also time. have a dump trailer which is our like our, our leaf setup yeah and then we don't like putting our grasses and our plant material and our perennials and stuff like that through the leaf loader so yep that's also you know where this comes into play because this is hauling the equipment the other truck's got the uh the leaf trailer so instead of destroying the leaf uh, loader right we just put it all in here and dump this instead of putting it in a truck bed so maybe uh, we'll do another video for another time if people want to see sure. the leaf loader video yep. are you opposed to that we'll, yeah. have to, we'll have to do another video in a couple weeks or something cool. or maybe in the spring because yep. you have uh, what's the size of your leaf uh, your dump trailer setup? Uh, it's a 7 by 14 uh, PJ um, the sides on it are 10 foot I would probably say, I don't know, I'm six foot plus two, so I don't know, eight and a half feet, nine feat. And you get the billy goat loader? Yep. Debris loader? Yep. With the horsepower? It's just, well, it's a Lesco actually. It's oh, a Lesco. Lesco, 16 horsepower. Nice. Um, we'll, we'll have to check that out. And we pretty much modified it for our dump trailer. So. That, that's what's up. Yep. Yeah, we used that. Um, I helped like do a, uh, a huge leaf cleanup job. That was a mess. Yep. Remember took that two one? hours, yep. Took two hours, yeah, but with six people. <laughs> yep. That was that's, a nightmare. That's the only way to do it. <clears throat> it, it was a mess, and uh, my gosh, I can't imagine the volume of leaves that we put curbside. Yep. And we filled that thing twice. Right? Yeah. On that job? Yep. That's crazy. So anyway. Is that like 30? Yeah. Compressed cubic yards of... Is that what it is? I don't know. It's, oh, I know <laughs> uh, everybody else's dump trailer with six foot high sides is about 25 cubic yards. Hmm. Uh, our sides are like a 45 degree angle. So you're yeah. able to get, you know, even more. And so I would probably say, you know, I had a few extra yards in there. How much is the dump that at a dump uh, at a yard? hundred bucks? Set. Uh, our place charges a hundred bucks. Yeah. That's not bad. Uh, I mean, sometimes we do, uh, my buddy's got a place and we do uh, help recycle leaves uh, for oh, him and he sure. uses it for compost and stuff like that. So Always it, nice really it really depends on the day. Yeah. So just where we're at, what we're doing, if we got to get this guy done or that guy, you know, it doesn't matter. It's nice when you got that kind of hookup. Some of you guys like uh, bag all your grass clippings all year and you're able to do the same thing and dump it at a friend's house or something like that. That's That'll save you a lot hey, of money. Joe, can I bring my leaves over? <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. I think one thing that a lot of folks um, wanted to uh, really think about a dump insert for me personally is, and, and you can weigh in here, let me know what you think. Um, I think the biggest thing was having a fully contained lawn care landscaping setup. <clears throat> mm -hmm. So we both run enclosed trailers, yep. the exact same enclosed trailer. I think yours is a 20 footer? Yep. Okay, so uh, the thing that helped me the most was the bottleneck for my business was always plant material. Like we, we had the vacuum on the mower, we had the mower, uh, we were able to do leaf cleanups, we had the customers, which is always a big part, but it was hauling away all the plant material. Like, so for me personally, uh, I'd say seven out of 10 of my lawn and landscape clients uh, back up to wood lines. And it's really convenient because I can dump all those leaves for the most part in the woods. But eventually the hostas, the daylilies, the pompous grasses, all the little perennials, the flowers that we're gonna rip out, like what was I gonna do with it all? Mm, right, right. So, Especially grass, stuff like that. For sure, so at the end of the day, I was getting sick and tired of bagging that stuff and just tarping it and throwing it into my truck bed, my F-150 or this one. And most of you guys who've watched the videos for any length of time remember my old red F-150. Mm -hmm. And I had that hard fiberglass uh, tunnel cover, yep. right? So I couldn't put any of that stuff in there and actually scoop it out effectively. So when you guys think like, hey, why is this guy so excited about a dump insert? I have been uh, having my eyes on one of these for years. So that's why for me personally, it's just been an ideal setup because now we can take the mowers with us in the enclosed trailer. We've got the bagger system. Uh, you've got like billy goats and you know, 10 backpack blowers as well. Um, should we pan? <laughs> yeah, sure. Dude, that's what's up. 
<laughs> that's awesome, man. So like it, like it means business, man. He's got a sweet shop. Wheel blower. Oh, I can't see it. Got the really goat. Where are we wheel at? Wheel blower over here. Got the little or little wonder. That's right. Little wonder. Yeah. So that's what I'm talking about. That's the kind of stuff where now we can actually take. By the way, we're not like business partners or anything, but same thing with your setup. Same thing with my setup. Everything can be all contained and now again I didn't want to get a fifty sixty thousand dollar dump truck and an fi-50 with a steak dump I didn't want to do that route. So for me personally, this has been uh, just such a game changer All right, so you want to show these guys how it was actually mounted. Yep So if you have an older truck and you live in Michigan you have problems with rust So what I had to do was go get shims from our local steel supply uh, steel supply yard and what we had to do was just put shims in there and suck those down. So that way in time, um, once that rusty old bed gives, you'll be alright. Alright, so while you're down there, are you going to give me an oil change? Yep. <laughs> no, while I'm down here, I'm going to finish put my plow on. Oh yeah, there you go. Should we show them that really quick? Yeah, you can show them. Oh man. This is a dump insert video, but this is what happens when you're just hanging out on a Saturday. This is the front end of the truck. We could do a plow install video. That would be something. Yeah, yeah you're like never again. <laughs> you're remounting everything here, you know. It's just crazy. So, cool, man. Cool. It's almost done. Just got it all loose fitted right now. I'm waiting on a couple brackets, and then we're done. So, I like it. You know, that's one thing I really admire out of this guy and guys like Brandon and so many of you guys that are like 17 to like 25. I'm 32. I already feel like that old fart guy, you know. <laughs> so, get uh, off my lawn. <laughs> get off my lawn. <laughs> yeah. Well, a lot of guys have that attitude of like superiority. Dude, I, I'm like so humble right now because I learned from guys like Alex and Brandon and showing them everything he knows. Uh, yeah. Right. <laughs> like bars, it's dump inserts, it's setups. True. So. It, it, dude, I, I mean, I'm not here to pretend like I know everything. I just want this channel to be a resource. Uh, kind of documenting my life as I go through the process of building a bigger long-care landscaping business like I'm dressed kind of clean in GQ right now But yeah. trust me we get dirty as heck during the week So yeah, and then they, you can see like why you're set up like this well cuz mm -hmm. I was like I'm set up like this and then you know, he asked for my opinion and it worked well. And it's just been a. Why not been, give it a try? Wait, and you're doing pretty uh, similar lawns and landscapes that I'm doing. Yeah. So, you same clientele. Yeah. So, this is just the setup that's working for us, man. Yeah. I like it, dude. So, not a bad little setup, you know what I mean? It's kind of cool just seeing different angles. See what we got to get access to. Dude, I'm impressed, man. You're a huge inspiration. You're helping a lot of people. It's awesome. So, once again, my rusty, rust free Michigan truck bed had to be fixed. Mm -hmm. All the piece of angle in there. But. When these uh, bushings or whatever you want to call them wear out, put the good old reliable hockey puck in there to eliminate this. Get the rub. Yep, from happening. Yeah, isn't that cool? <laughs> Oops. But that's what will happen. Sure. Nothing really major. I think that's just the primer now. But uh, yeah, just so you guys know. Good. That's what will happen. All right, so a lot of folks wanted to see now that we're talking about the roof in this video We're just, we're just we don't have a script with any of this uh, This was brought uh, buyers new bracket that um, I think is still a prototype But I know there are other companies that make other mounts like this So if you guys are looking around this is actually a I think this is a steel uh, No, it's aluminum. I think this is an aluminum bracket and they mounted a steel bracket to it Vice versa, one of the one of the other, and so now we're able to keep that light bar on there. The problem with a lot of these light bars, they have magnetic mounts. Well, when you get an aluminum chassis, an aluminum cab uh, 250, the new ones, you kind of stuck between a rock and a hard space, right? right? So anyway, so that's how that looks right there, and then the wire goes just through the back into the cab. The one thing I need to uh, think about is putting those uh, XD lights back on, the uh, rough country ones. Yeah. My uh, uh, floodlights just for backup visibility with plumbing. I'd probably put them on your bumper if you do uh, put them on next. You think put them on the bumper? Yep. Well, I was going to mount them either up here on the side, like yay, kind of pointing this way, or even on top. Any thoughts? Hmm. You think on the back bumper? Probably on the bumper. Like underneath? On, like well, underneath? If, you're, if you're working at night and you got to go dump a load of leaves and you want them on, I mean, yeah. you got to worry about adjusting them or whatever. I mean. Well, plus I don't need trees to smack them on the side and take them oh, off right. when, I'm exactly. on the, when I'm driving around subdivision I mean, with the trailer. You'll probably 
if they're on the bump road, you'll probably take them off either way, but. Yeah, that's true. No, I don't know. It'll be probably safer down there, and then if you got that fancy backup camera too, I mean. <laughs> no, seriously, you'd be able right. to see better, so. A uh, game changer, so that, that one's from Camera Source. We'll be, we'll be doing more video on that one. Um, I, I'm still putting it through its paces, so I don't want to endorse something if I've never really used it, so. All right, cool, man. It's cool. hot in here. It is, it's uh, 60 degrees. Yeah, he, uh, about his, 80 up here. his rent's all inclusive, man, so I'm, I'm dripping sweat. I mean, like we were just coming to hang out. I didn't know if we would be indoors or outdoors. That's why it is with Leica, but. Um, so if you guys enjoyed this one, uh, definitely shoot a big thumbs up. Say thank you to uh, Alex, because he's just a huge help with, with me and my business, and him helping me, I get to also uh, pour that into you guys. Same thing with Brandon and Mike. Uh, they're just kind of part of the channel, part of the ecosystem, and you know what, it's really cool. Uh, we were talking about this earlier, man. There's not a lot of people that are making long care landscaping videos that can help so many right. people and this is just works for us it might not work for you but it's really helpful uh resource all right bro hey thanks again for the help no problem super appreciate it all right guys well if you guys are new like i said don't forget to hit that subscribe button here check out these other quick videos if you guys enjoyed this one i'm sure you guys will enjoy these other ones and guys we'll catch you on the next video all right oh, i watched the truck yesterday quick little transition here hanging out truck number two you guys have seen that one